Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a scroll view. Uh, there are times where your layout could become a little larger and could not be accommodated within a single screen. So you may need to scroll your layout. And scroll view helps you to do that. And here we have a relative layout. And in this example, I'm going to replace this relative layout with a linear layout because a linear layout is easier to add components to showcase the scroll view in this example. However, you can use your scroll view with any other uh, layout. That's not at all a problem. Let's go to scrollview.xml and I'm going to replace this relative layout with a linear layout. Linear layout and I'm going to add the orientation property which is going to be vertical. So that's it. And now let's go ahead. Let's go to graphical layout and let me try to add some views. I'm going to drag some views inside. Seven, eight, nine. And I have 10 buttons here. So I'm going to call this last button as end and I'm going to call the first button as start and make sure uh, the text here should not be hard coded we should use a uh, string resource instead so this is a very quick example that's why I'm hard coding these strings for you and when I try to run this application let's go ahead and run this run it as an Android application click on OK and we have the emulator already running. I'm going to switch to it. And here we have the layout and you can see we are not able to see the end button which is the last button in this layout. We are able to see the start button however we could not see the end button because uh, the layout itself is larger than the screen. And uh, to scroll down to the end button we need to place this linear layout inside a scroll view. So unless and until we do that, the rest of the layout will not be visible to us. And uh, this is how, here is how the layout, uh, the scroll view works. Uh, the scroll view is uh, a frame layout. So it can have only one child. It could be either a view or a view group. And in this case, we're going to place our linear layout inside the scroll view. So that uh, the scroll view will allow the linear layout to scroll either vertically or horizontally and in this case it is going to be uh, vertically. Also a scroll view can be nested inside other layouts that is you can have a little layout and you can have a scroll view inside a little layout and sometimes you can also scroll uh, views such as a text view you can place a text view which has a lot of text inside a scroll view so that uh, the text views can the text view can scroll uh, down so if you want to have any view scrollable, usually it's a view group such as a linear layout or a relative layout. And sometimes it is a view such as a text view. Let's go to scroll view and now we're going to place this relative layout inside a scroll view. So the scroll view is going to be the parent view here. And there are certain attributes that we have to add to the root view which is the XML namespace attributes. I'm going to move them from the linear layout to the scroll view. And also, I'm going to move the tools context to the root view, which is the scroll view currently. And uh, we know that the lay layout width and uh, height properties are mandatory. So we're going to add them as well. And write uh, layout height match parent. So now the root view is the scroll view and now we are going to place the linear layout inside the scroll view. I'm going to copy the entire linear layout, uh, sorry, cut the entire linear layout and I'm going to paste it inside. Now I'm going to use my shift control and F button to do the automatic formatting. Let's save this and let's go back to graphical layout and see the preview itself is a bit enlarged now. So, so that uh, we can see the end button here. Let's go ahead and run this application once again on our emulator. Let me switch to the emulator. And here it is. You can see that the linear layout can scroll now. 
so that's about it so whenever you use a scroll view it should have only one child it could either be a view group or it could be a view that's about it this is how you use a scroll view you don't need to do any coding to achieve this and if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you